today's throwback, remembering Delegiwa and other slain and abused journalists today, International Day to End Impunity Against Journalists. Delegiwa's gruesome murder remains a troubling chapter in Nigeria's history and a stark reminder of the pervasive culture of impunity surrounding security officers. Delegiwa, a renowned journalist and founding editor of now defunct Newswatch News magazine, was sadistically killed by a letter bomb while having breakfast with a colleague Kayode Shoyinka on October 19, 1986. The Sunday morning incident sent shockwaves throughout the nation and the world as it was a brazen attack on press freedom and a blatant act of violence against a journalist known for his stylistic and fearless reporting. Delegiwa's murder raised serious questions about the safety of journalists who dared to uncover troops and challenge the status quo. What makes this case particularly upsetting is the lack of accountability and justice that followed. Despite widespread speculation and demands for answers, the investigation into Delegiwa's murder seemed to have stalled, eventually leading to a culture of impunity for those responsible. This incident served as a grim reminder of how security officers and powerful individuals could evade the precautions of their actions. The tragic event not only silenced a prominent voice in Nigerian journalism, but also highlighted the dangers faced by journalists whose works exposed corruption and challenged the establishment. It casts a shadow on the freedom of the press and the fundamental right of citizens to freely assess unbiased information. Delegiwa's murder serves as a somber reminder of the need for a robust and independent justice system capable of holding those in power accountable for their actions. It also underscores the importance of fostering a culture that values and protects press freedom, ensuring the safety of journalists as they carry out their vital role in society. In conclusion, although the impunity surrounding Delegiwa's murder may have persisted for nearly three decades, it is crucial that we continue to demand justice and honor his memory by advocating for a society where no one is above the law regardless of their position in and out of power. And that's it on the show tonight. I am Bola Hoba. Have a good night.